Hey guys, YouTube Drone Doctor here, and I'm going to talk real briefly about a couple of apps that I've been playing with for the last few weeks. And those are the Autopilot app and also the Leechy app. And I don't ask me if I pronounce that right or not, I have no idea. But uh, anyway, I'm going to talk real briefly about both of these and just tell you what I think about them. Now, there's a great video from Demon C. Jim Bowers does a great how-to video on the Leechy app and how to do your, your waypoints, so I'm not going to go into that. Check out his site if you want to see how to use the Leechy app because he does a great job explaining how to use it. Uh, I'm just here to tell you my personal opinion after using both of these and testing them out, um, what I think of them. So the first one I'm going to talk about, which is this one over here, this is the setup for the Autopilot app. Um, those of you that are using the Inspire or using uh, the Phantom 3s for professional type stuff, I would say this is definitely your cup of tea. Uh, I can't tell you, it took me about two days of going over the instructions on this thing on how to use it properly before I could even just scratch the surface on doing the stuff that this thing is capable of. It's amazing. Um, if you do decide to, you, you want to try the, the beta or just take a test run on this thing, it's really easy. Once you get to this dashboard, I will tell you this, there's this little thing here, the tab that says Flight School. When you tap on Flight School, it will take you to uh, an introduction and it has little videos on how to use each one of the features. The features are endless on autopilot of what you can do with this thing. It is truly amazing when you break it all down on the different things, zip line, orbit, follow me, obviously. Um, and I'm going to talk a little bit about the, uh, the follow me mode on both of these. But the amount of time that you're going to spend to dissect this app, it's going to be enormous. Um, so get ready. If you're going to use this thing, you're going to have some study time because it, it is pretty labor intensive as far as sitting down and really learning this thing. Uh, one of the things that I really loved about this, which was really cool and I didn't get a chance to play with it enough, was the fact that you can actually use this app to do kind of a hare and hound. So you can actually use this app to have one drone chasing another one um, and filming it. So it, that's pretty cool. And uh, there's a lot of stuff in here that, that you really guys really need to look at. It's called Airspace, I think, if you, if you want to look that up. But that, that part is really, really cool. Now, the other thing that I really loved about um, the follow me mode on the autopilot was the fact that it uses the barometer that your iPhone, um, the 6, a 6 Plus, and, and I think the Air 2 also has it. If you have the barometer in, uh, or, acti or activated actually, but it should automatically be activated, when you're using the follow me mode and you're having your bird follow you, if you go up a hill, it recognizes that you're going up a hill and it will accordingly adjust the height of your bird and go up that hill. So in other words, if you are doing, um, let's say for example, if you're going up and down um, a hill, let's say you're driving a vehicle and this is actually what we were doing. We were out in the middle of Timbuktu and I was just kind of wanted to find out if this was actually gonna do it and it did. Uh, a typical follow me mode without the barometer, if I go up a hill, the bird doesn't recognize that you're, you're increasing in height and it'll essentially just fly right into the side of the mountain. Um, with this app, it actually recognizes the fact that you've increased in height and it will adjust the height on your bird. So that part I thought was amazing. Um, the other thing that I found was that we were, we were looking at some of the videos on here and it looked like the follow me mode was a little bit more accurate than the one that DJI actually provides. And I went out and did a couple of loops around in, in the desert and it did hold really, really tight on the follow me mode. Um, I didn't film a lot of that stuff and bring it out here because again, I don't want to bore you guys with that stuff. And I just wanted to touch base on what I thought about these two because they're very, very similar. Now, if you're not a prosumer, I guess is the word I'm looking for. If you're not a prosumer and you're not doing videos that are in the professional realm, do I think that you should go out and grab the autopilot? Eh, it's up to you. If you're one of those guys that really likes to tinker and have a lot of time on your hands, the autopilot is definitely worth its money. It, it's it's fantastic. And you can go to the App Store. Um, both of these I, I tested on the iOS versions, so uh, the iOS versions were really, really good. I just find that the iOS uh, versions of all the apps seem to work a little bit better than Android. I've tried both of them and 
And for me, I, I just personally like the iOS. Now going over to the Leche app, the Leche app is very, very simple to use. Um, the one thing that I did notice on both of these was that when you're uploading your flights, so in other words, you can save a waypoint, for example, and you, you pre-design your flight path. And uh, I don't know why that's defaulted to Stonehenge, but I guess it is. So anyway, you go to Stonehenge and you can set up your, your waypoints on this thing and you can upload it to the craft. The one thing that I did notice was that you really needed to have the craft in a fairly decent uh, range so that it could get good connection and upload the flight plan. The flight plan. So um, you, those of you that have been using the DJI Go, uh, for, it's, it's kind of neutered. It, it really is handicapped quite a bit when it comes to what it allows you to do. It is a great program. I think that the things that DJI have incorporated make it much easier for people to take these programs and the waypoints, for example, and, and just really take it out there and, and use it. I think it's fantastic. But the one thing that I really love about the Leechy app is you can take it to the next level and it'll, it'll take it out and really, really expound on it. It'll allow you to take the Leechy and go to the next level without breaking your bank, first of all, but it also makes it very easy to use. So for that, my hat, my hat is off to him. Uh, you really can't go wrong with that kind of money that you're gonna spend on this thing. It's, it's not that expensive and I, I highly recommend the Leechy app also, especially those of you that are flying mainly the P3. Um, I was using it with both, the Inspire and the P3. It just made it really simple. The one downside that I did notice about both of these, those of you who are counting your, um, your flights and you're, you, know, you wanna use uh, the DJI Go and you're counting up all your little points to get your little flags or whatever the case might be, uh, for the DJI Go, once you use the Leechy app or the autopilot and you go away from the DJI Go, obviously it disconnects you from the Go and it no longer records your program. Um, both of these also do have screen recording, which is a very, very nice tool because you can hit the screen recording and it says start re screen recording now. It activates your microphone. You can narrate your flight. You can do all this stuff. Again, go to Demon Seed. He'll explain a little bit more about the screen recording on that. Uh, it's a great feature. But uh, two cents worth, both of them, thumbs up. Each of them have their own place in the world of the, the DJI products, the Phantom and the Inspire. But again, the autopilot is a little bit more overwhelming if you are just a, well, if you're a noob, if you're new to this and you're really trying to get out there and expand and grab something new and go do some waypoint flying and so forth, the Leechy app is a little bit easier to grasp. Um, if you're wondering if you can take both of these and just program a flight and take off and let it go do everything autonomously, you know, go out five miles and let it fly. The answer is no, it has to have a range with your transmitter. So in other words, even though you're flying autonomously on your waypoints and so forth, it has to have a direct connection to your transmitter. So those of you that are wondering, can you just let this thing go uh, without having a way to override it? and uh, take over in a case of emergency, the answer is no, you have to have a direct connection to your transmitter. So that's actually really, really good. So again, thanks again for watching guys. Uh, no, I don't work for uh, any of these companies. I don't work for DJI or anything. Uh, if this entertained you in any way, shape or form, please give me a thumbs up and let me know that I'm at least entertaining you somehow. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do. And I'll see you on the next video.